Good afternoon, church family, and greetings in the name of the Lord. It's good to be able to come to where you're at with our devotion today through this wonderful instrument we have called live stream. Isn't it great? We're just streaming right along through whatever, but we're not streaming right along by ourselves. But we have the Lord Jesus Christ, the Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost is right here with us today. Let's go to God together in prayer. Father, we love you, Lord, and we're grateful to you for this beautiful day that you've entrusted to us and how you have blessed us. Lord, we just want to say thank you and that we love you. No, Lamb of God, I just pray that our hearts would be opened and our spirit would be attuned to what you have to speak to us today during our time together. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. Well, like I said, we're so thankful that you were able to join us today. And I have a message entitled, When You Pass Through. When You Pass Through. You might say, well, that's a little strange, but stop and think about it. You know, there's a lot of people that's faced with challenges. There's a lot of people faced with hardship. There's a lot of people being faced with sicknesses. Even last night, my phone rang, and it was somebody being uh, rushed to the Redmond Hospital. We realize that everyone has difficulties in their life, has challenges in their life. But now listen, child of God. We have God as our source and our strength, and he's our satisfying portion. You heard the scripture, if God be for us, who dare be against us? And thank God today. But for our devotion, I'm looking at Isaiah, the 43rd chapter, and verse 1. Notice what it says. You are mine. Oh, hallelujah. You are mine. Now, to begin with, with our devotion, this is the Lord speaking to Jacob. Jacob, who was promised that he would be blessed of the Lord, who later God changed his name to Israel. And we see how God has blessed Israel through the years, time and time again in the midst of their challenges, in the midst of their sicknesses, in the midst of their affliction, the Lord has blessed the nation of Israel. And it started many, many years ago when he made a covenant with Jacob. Stop and think about it today. When the Lord declares, you are mine, he means that. And beloved, let me tell you, when you know God is your personal Lord and Savior and you accept him as the Lord of your life, your name is written down in glory. And thank God today we can cry as Jesus taught the disciples, Our Father which art in heaven, oh, hallowed be thy name. Why can we say Our Father? Because we, by faith, through salvation, have become the children of the Most High God. And he says here in Isaiah 43 and 2, you are mine. You say, but I'm faced like the nation of Israel with so many challenges, so much coming against me, all the unexpected, all of, you know, the surprises, you know, that happens in life. Stop and think about it. About 15 months ago, no one had even heard of this COVID. No one had even heard of this pandemic. But we went to bed one night and everybody seemingly was okay. We woke up the next morning and the announcement of this COVID-19, this worldwide pandemic, talking about a challenge, beloved, we've all been faced with this challenge. But God said, you are mine. Whatever you're going through today, you're going to get through it with the help of the Lord because he continues from verse 2 or from verse 1 into verse 2, and he says, when you pass through the waters, oh, hallelujah. It's not, hey, pastor, am I going to get through it? Because, hey, you're going to get through it in the name of the Lord. When you pass through the waters, just stop and meditate right now. Whatever it is that's afflicted you, what's ever trying to attack you, whatever's trying to make you feel depressed, just stop right now and say, when I pass through, 
when I pass through, when I pass through, oh, hallelujah, you're going to get through this time in the name of Jesus. He says, when you pass through the waters, I will be with you. Thank God. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow you. When you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned. Neither shall the flame kindle upon you or scorch you or burn you. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. Hallelujah. That says it right there. He's our Savior, beloved. And with him being the Lord of our life, our kinsman redeemer, the healer of our body, the preserver of our mind, the savior of our soul, the light of the world, you're going to get through whatever it is that has tried to afflict you and make a hardship in your life. Even like this pandemic, last night you went to bed great. And all of a sudden today, this has gone wrong, that's gone wrong, the other's gone wrong. But beloved, again, meditate. You're going to get through it with the help and the grace of God. Then if you look at the uh, Word of God in 2 Corinthians and look closely at, at chapter 4 and look at verse 8 and 9. 2 Corinthians, the fourth chapter, verses 8 and 9. We are hard-pressed on every side, yet we're not crushed. We are perplexed, but we're not in despair. We are persecuted, but we're not forsaken. We are struck down, but we are not destroyed. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Like the Lord on the third day rose victoriously over death, over hell, and over the grave. Because he rose victoriously. You can rise above your situation today through and by the help of God. But I want to ask you a question. Have you been praying? Have you been studying God's word? You remember last week I brought to you how to live a victorious life. And I talked about praying. I talked about studying of God's word. Well, beloved, this is our meat and potatoes. We can't live without calling upon God. We can't make it through our Christian walk with the Lord without the Word of God. And see, some of you have heard for the first time that you're going to get through your sickness. Some of you have heard for the first time you're going to get through this hardship, this surprise that happened in your life. Well, where did we get it from? We got it from the Word of God. And you see, beloved, the Word of God declares, let every man be a liar, but let God, oh, hallelujah, let God be the truth of it all. And so the bottom line is today, you're going to get through whatever it is that has attacked you, but you're not going to get through alone. You're going to get through by the help and grace of God, because remember the Lord said, you are mine. Oh, hallelujah. Now, I don't know how it was when you were coming up, but my dad let me know right quick, son, you belong to me. And as long as you're under my roof and in my house, I'm going to provide for you. I'm going to take care of you. But you got to walk in covenant. And you got to acknowledge that I'm still your dad. And that's just like our heavenly father. When we walk in covenant with him and we abide under the shadow of the Almighty and we know him as our Lord and Savior, oh, hallelujah, he's going to take care of you. He's going to overshadow you. He's going to bless you. And thank God today we can just keep looking up. Some of you may be faced with something very, very serious in your life, just like that sister that was rushed to the hospital last night another one that scheduled this Friday for major surgery, some that are already in the hospital, some are wondering, how am I going to make it through this financial crisis? What's going to happen with my son and daughter? Why are they living like they are? Oh, Lord, and the list goes on and on and on. But stop. When you pass through, oh, hallelujah. <laughs> oh, thank God. When you pass through, 
with the help and grace of God, and God's grace is sufficient. God's going to see you through because you see, beloved, we're all mountain climbers, and what you're faced with today, it is no mountain impossible for a mountain climber because we have the help of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost. So when you pass through these hardships, God says you are mine. Oh, hallelujah. For he is our Savior. I'm reminded of this little boy that was drowning. The story has it that he was drowning. He went down for the first time. And he said, oh, God, help me. I've got faith in you. Well, a fisherman came by and handed him an oar. Said, son, grab a hold of the oar. Grab a hold, I'll pull you to safety. He said, no, I'm trusting God. He pushed help away. Secondly, the Coast Guard came by, threw him one of those life rings, you know, like you place around your body. Said, son, grab a hold. He said, oh, no. He said, I'm trusting God. Well, you know, they say once you go down the third time, that's it, when you're drowning, that is. The boy went down the third time, and when he stood before the Lord, the story continued on. The Lord asked him, said, why are you here? And he asked the Lord. He said, why didn't you help me? He said, well, son, I sent you a fisherman that extended a life boat or a, 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 an oar to you, and you pushed it away. I, I sent the Coast Guard. They threw out the ring for you to just grab a hold of that life preserver. And all you had to do was grab a hold of it and you would have been pulled to safety. He said, but no. He said, why, son? He said, I kept waiting on you to save me, God. He spoke to him and said, but son, I sent you two helps and you, re you refused them. You rebuked it. You told them no. Beloved, let me tell you, through the power of the Holy Spirit today, I'm coming to some of you and letting you know that God has heard and answered your prayer. Quit pushing away the people that God has put in your life to help you. I'm so glad that you've tuned into this devotion because this is one way that God is extending an oar. God is extending a life preserver, saying, wait a minute, you're not going down. Just call upon me. Trust him because we belong to him, beloved, and reach out, oh, hallelujah, and let the Lord touch you in your circumstance, in your situation, in your sickness, in your affliction, in your crisis, and listen to all that God has for you because he's got help, for he is a very present help in time of trouble. You're not going down, you're going up. So keep looking up. God is in control. Hey, we love you and we thank God for you. There's some great things happening right here at the Our Mercy Church of God. We want to invite you to come be with us right here every Sunday morning at 11 o'clock. Highway 27, just north of Rome. God bless. Have a wonderful day. And remember, you belong to God.